This is smart. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, I want us to take a look at Tesla. Tesla just recently announced that they were going to do a five for one split. So, we're going to take a look at what's going on here, what that means for you, and the impact of uh, this split to us as investors. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and your notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So Tesla actually just put out this news um, yesterday, um, August 11, um, announces their five for one split. Um, so we're just gonna read here. This is the actual release. Um, a press release from Tesla. So um, it reads, um, so Tesla announced today that the board of directors has approved um, and declared a five for one split of Tesla common stock in the form of a stock dividend to make stock ownership more accessible to employees and investors. Each stock um, holder of record on August 21st, um, and what I want you to do is mark that date, August 21st will receive a dividend of four additional shares of common stock for each then held share to be distributed after close of trading on August 28th. Mark that, that date right there, that's important. Um, trading will begin on a stock split adjusted basis on August 31st. So mark that date right there. So this is great news for, uh, for people that were looking to get into Tesla. You're probably asking yourself like, hey, so what does this mean? Uh, if you see here, they mentioned two key things in this. Uh, they want to make the stock accessible to employees and investors. So breaking down the price of Tesla, definitely what that does is it's going to definitely bring in more investors um, into the company. And um, more people that are invested in the company simply means that there's going to be uh, a lot of people are talking about this company and hopefully uh, maybe introducing Tesla to their family members, co-workers and friends and potentially translating into uh, buying customers, people wanting to buy Tesla products or know their cars or uh, maybe buying like the, the Tesla uh, solar um, uh, shingles that you see right now coming out. So this is, this is I, I mean, absolutely um, um, a, a great thing for, for most people. So if you are one of those people that sat out there and were complaining or really mad that you missed out on the Tesla boat, um, this is a great opportunity for you to really jump into uh, Tesla. In my personal uh, thing here is I had already speculated that uh, Tesla was gonna be a $3,000 um, stock by the end of December, that goes uh, you no know, without speculation. So now they're doing the split means, I mean, there's no way this stock can get back to uh, 1500 um, by end of the year. But um, is there still a ton of room for Tesla to grow? Definitely. Tesla has not even just, uh, you know, made its peak yet. Um, I actually did a video where I talked about Tesla and the different businesses that Tesla has that people don't really even talk about. So if you think about it, so if you go to Tesla and you look at the solar roof here, this is this is a huge part of the business that um, a lot of people still don't really uh, uh, you know understand or haven't even gotten into. This is just picking up. So uh, by the time they get to the point where the solar roofs are really uh, main street, um, you know your shingles become your solar panels. This is going to be huge to me. Like this is this is a huge um, opportunity for people that missed out on Tesla to really jump in and maybe um, pick some some shares of Tesla to enjoy this growth that Tesla has been given. So um, again, uh, the, the, the pros of this uh, split, uh, which is what we just uh, recently heard um, Apple was gonna do one, and now um, Tesla is also doing another one here. So um, the pros of this split, again, is to kind of bring in, if you see here, um, could mean smaller investors. So if you were looking at buying Tesla and it was $1,500 a share, I mean, not a whole lot of people have $1,500 um, to go out and go buy one share of Tesla when there's other options where you can buy more shares and potentially get more growth. But um, now that the stock has split, uh, 
I, I, I see more people would be excited to want to come in. Um, even though, again, like I, I mentioned in, in my Apple video, um, with, with fractional shares, uh, this problem would have been solved because people can buy fractional shares of any company, no matter how expensive that is. But the only issue with you buying fractional shares is that um, as a shareholder, you don't have voting rights um, because you don't have a full share of the company. So um, as a matter of fact, as a fractional shareholder, Tesla doesn't even recognize you as a shareholder because they only recognize people that own full shares of their company. So, um, I mean, it, there's, there is, the pros there that they're bringing in new investors and everything, but um, some people argue that fractional shares would have solved the problem, so they didn't need to do a split. Um, uh, to me, I say that it's still important because uh, it gets people excited, it gets people talking about the company, uh, it puts the company in the news, it gets um, a ton of exposure, uh, people learn more about the company, people uh, learn more about their products and their services, and so, that's the way I would I would look at this, and so um, I think this uh, Tesla was trading uh, just after close on on, on Tuesday. Uh, let's see here. So it closed on Tuesday at thirteen hundred um, dollars in, in in just a little bit over thirteen hundred dollars, and then after hours um, it went up about six percent after the news, which is uh, which is great. So. Um, I think you're gonna see uh, a ton of movement with Tesla, but next couple of days, uh, people are either wanting to buy before the split, or um, again, there's there's so many things that would happen um, here. To me, what I see is number one is uh, people will be asking the question: Should you buy before the split, or should you buy after the split? Um, this is a tricky question because I've actually gotten that for Apple as well. Should you buy before the split? Um, the only thing is, if you buy before the split, and then you're guaranteed that you would get the stock at that price uh, when they split. So let's say um, on, on the day that this stock really actually go through and, and do the split, which is August um, 21st, if you own a share of, of Tesla, and Tesla was trading at 1500, so you're guaranteed that you have five shares of Tesla at three hundred dollars a piece, um, but if you wait until this split, uh, maybe during that time there's going to be a lot of pressure, and the more people are lined up to buy this, uh, the, the the stock, the price is going to go up. So I mean, it's just common sense. Um, more people wanting to buy, and there's if there's not enough for everybody, and then definitely the price is going to go up. So. Um, this is just, again, it's a game of chance. And, and sometimes I've seen situations where they do a stock split and the stock price uh, kind of pull back a little bit before pick up steam. So who knows what's gonna happen with Tesla. And uh, uh, Elon Musk had predicted this, um, I think just uh, a while back, um, talking about that this is something that they were gonna talk in their uh, board of director meetings. And so it looks like he knew this was coming. And um, man, you, you cannot sleep on Elon Musk, man. This dude is, um, he's smart. And he knows how to play uh, Wall Street and get what he wants. And, and so this is, I mean, obviously, Wall Street people are gonna be talking about this. And the stock, it, just think about it. This stock when I think in March, it was down to about $350 or $360 a share. And then come August, this thing is uh, now at $1,500. So Moss knows this. And as soon as this split happens, something, he's gonna do something, Tesla's gonna do something, and you're gonna see the stock again, start squeezing back up to 400, 500, 600. And don't be surprised that maybe by the end of the year, what, what, Tesla would be trading at about seven or $800. Um, that wouldn't surprise me. So great opportunity for people to jump in and be part of the Tesla family. If you, if you didn't uh, get in earlier um, when, you know, when Tesla was still low. So 
I, I mean, I'm, I'm super excited about um, this move for, for Tesla. So at this point, um, my personal uh, take is that I think this is a smart move to bring in more people, bring in more investors, um, get more exposure for the company, uh, introduce people to their products, to their services, because the media is going to be talking about them. Um, investors, people that missed out on Tesla, that were complaining that they missed out, they'll want to come back and hopefully pick up some shares of Tesla. Um, and again, Again, this is a company that is just getting started in my opinion tesla hasn't even hit its peak yet so imagine when tesla gets to its peak um this is going to be massive amazon is at over what three thousand dollars i totally see tesla getting to that point someday uh, when they finally establish and and really uh, be a full throttle with all the different products and uh, all the different uh, services that they have. So that's my personal take. So let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this split? Do you think Mr. Vegas is an excellent idea or you think, oh, why do you want to bring in more people? Make Tesla exclusive. Don't bring in more people into Tesla. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. And also, if you're looking to get started with investing and you don't know where to start, Weibo is currently giving two free stocks for you signing up to their platform. Um, um, just for signing up and depositing $100, you get two free stocks that is worth between $12 and $1,400. So definitely uh, check them out. I'll put the links in the description below. And as always, guys, stay motivated.